My name is Lindsay Lee Hobson and I work with forward-thinking organizations to elevate their emerging leaders and create the ultimate next generation of leadership. I'm also the founder of the Learning and Development Collective, where driven and passionate L&D professionals come together to exchange trending topics, innovative ideas, and the best suppliers for their training calendars. And I am here with one such supplier today. Welcome to the studio, Christian Bacusis, also known as Boo, who's the CEO of Afterburners. Welcome, Boo. Hey, Lids. Thanks for having me. How are you doing? Good. And we are so excited to have you in the studio today because you're actually joining us in the Evolution, which is our career development program specifically for L&D professionals. But we organize experts just like yourself to come in and share topics and ideas and learnings for these guys on the topics of their choice. So, Boo, before we even get into your area of expertise and what you do, tell us a little bit about you and a day in the life of a Boo. <laughs> Gosh, that's a good question. At the moment, a day in my life is absolutely chaos relocating to another country as well as uh, trying to run two businesses in two different parts of the world so yeah it's busy uh, and a two-year-old son so yeah busy 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 we're in an era of life right now where we are all busy and and i suspect that a lot of my busy is of my own creation uh, rather than being focused and, and doing the right things at the right time i've just become the ceo of afterburner i've acquired uh, a global business that's in the training uh, development and experience space it uses the fighter pilot training model the same model that we use to train young men and women to turn the dream of being a fighter pilot into a reality. And we use that model inside uh, large organizations uh, and have done for, gosh, nearly 26 years. So learning and development has really been something I've been involved in uh, from the age of 19. I don't count school as learning and development for me because I didn't learn much and I wasn't very good. I repeated my final year at high school and pretty much got the same mark the second time around. But I have seen how humans develop outside structured education and this methodology that we use and, and given the amount you have to learn as a fighter pilot in the minimum amount of time possible, I think this is a learning model that scales, is very inclusive, is psychologically secure. We could talk about a bit more of the details later. So I thought when the opportunity came up to, to buy the company, as I approach you know 50, I thought, wow, what a great platform and a great experience to help people help themselves. So I sort of say, you grow as me, grow as yourself, grow as we, the team that we're a part of, grow as us, and us as everyone, the, the global community. So so yeah, really now it's just building out the, the business and, and the model to drive that out at global scale. I love that. And I love absolutely what you guys do at Afterburner. Working with you with some of our clients has been some of the best experiences. It's so much fun and you learn so much about yourself and the business along the way. But for those members who haven't yet met you before, or even L&D Forum members who are watching this going, what is Afterburner? Tell us about Afterburner Boo and tell us about how what you do at Afterburner relates specifically to L&D. Yeah, Afterburner is, is a really a pure L&D engine. Uh, I mean, the concept of an Afterburner the burner in an airplane is the back of an airplane, you add extra fuel, it accelerates you. Uh, and what we've learned about human performance is human performance, like an afterburner, uh, isn't sustainable. You, you have to do it in short, sharp blocks. You have to understand how people work because afterburner has the experience of, of men and women operating the very edge of where humans operate in a mental capacity, operating in three dimensions, doing complex uh, mathematics, uh, as well as pulling high G. And if anyone saw that movie Top Gun, you would see that flying these airplanes and, and turning them around the sky is really hard work so and just when you need your brain to work the best is also when you need your body also and those they're two competing interests there's only so much energy in the body so when you're physically in demand the blood goes to your arms and legs and you need the blood in your brain to work better it's, it's an organ like anywhere else i guess that as humans we we're really great at some things but we all have a common human performance limitation and that's just how much capacity we have inside our brain so a couple of things that we take away from the fighter pilot learning model. One is everyone says you've got to explore outside your comfort zone. Uh, we have a different spin on that. Is every, anytime you're outside your comfort zone, you probably have an accident. So we want to expand your existing comfort zone. So, so a comfort zone is always growing, but we stay inside the bubble because that way we don't introduce anxiety. We don't introduce fear. We're able to sustainably grow individuals inside that bubble. And, and sometimes people do pop outside and the system is designed to do that. But really in our world, if you fall outside your comfort zone, we're looking for pilots to say, uh, stop, I've just, I've gone too far. And for them to stop doing what they're doing and go back to being in a relaxed state so they don't have an accident. So sometimes you 
deliberately pushed outside your comfort zone, if not for you to just recognize that and not do anything, not do anything silly. With Afterburner, uh, we turned the, the fighter pilot way of working and learning into a performance model that we call flawless execution. And flawless execution is about connecting, I guess, the art of an idea or the art of strategy, something in the future that we just, we want to have happen, but maybe it won't, maybe it will. So some sort of dream and connecting that to the science of day-to-day -day execution, which is our plan brief, execute debrief cycle. So we try to help people clearly articulate what their goals are. We focus on small wins. So small wins every single day to achieve the big ones at the end of the year. We help people understand how to communicate better, which is actually uh, really simple, which is uh, listen more and make sure people understand. Don't just broadcast and don't just tell people. What's probably become more relevant now than when we started, we've always known at Afterburner that distraction is, is something that causes a lack of performance. And if you've got a learning outcome or a development outcome, you know, that it'll, it'll cause a lack of performance there as well. And as someone that also a few years ago found out I had ADHD, uh, I'm not shy of the odd distraction wherever I can find one myself. So, so what we talk about here is the simpler the plan, the better communicated it is, the easier it is to stay focused and combat what we call task saturation, which is just too much to do, not enough time to do it. And we live in that world now. We, we are constantly saturated. Yeah, we consume the same amount of information a day today that our grandparents consumed in their entire lifetime, which is pretty amazing in, in three generations to, to have that kind of complexity and education, learning, development. You're just part of the broad spectrum of, of knowledge we're trying to imprint on the 96 billion neurons in our brain. But really, I think the magic and this this unique to fighter pilot culture, it's our what we call our debrief. It's different to how most organizations perceive debriefing or feedback. It's a daily personal performance review every single day. But what's unique about it is we create an environment at our work, which is called nameless and rankless. And that's an environment where it doesn't matter who you are or what you do. You might be, if you're an education environment, you might be the dean, the principal, the chancellor, or you might be a first year. But when we're having these conversations around performance, we're all equal and the focus is on objectives, not subjectives. So isn't it interesting that in education you study subjects, but in life you have to deliver objectives. So we learn how to be subjective, but we're measured on how objective we are. No one really teaches you. No one bridges that gap, right? So debriefing is bridging the gap. It's a mentoring model. It's the ability for everyone to come into a room and, and ask what we call the three R's, three simple questions. Uh, what's my result? What's my reason for this result? And what's my response going to be? And we're looking to fire up a neurochemical reaction where dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins fire up as a result of the small win, which is the debrief, actually thinking about an action and then doing that action is a win as far as your neurochemistry is concerned. And if we do that every day, we sort of start to introduce 50% more brain power, 50% more physical energy thanks to these chemicals throughout our body. So Afterburner uh, tells a story. The story is the story of the fighter pilot, which I guess for many of us, it's you can't really dispute that it's a high performance environment. And using that as our experience, using that as the storytelling, we introduce some very simple but elegant and effective intellectual property around the methods we use to you know, close the gap between what our goal is and where we are today. Yes, that's so powerful. And so many of our members have actually, the reason they've requested, there's so much misunderstanding out there about what L&D professionals actually do and the role they should play. And having the confidence and the comfort zone to be able to not only handle that roller coaster ride, at the same time as outputting less than your input, I'm sorry, more than your inputting has been such a challenge for so many people, especially coming up to end of financial year. It's been really, really challenging. And what you're talking about and the psychology and the strategies that you're going to share with us at the round table is absolutely absolutely going to be essential for any L&D professional who has that experience in their business. But Boo, you were a fighter pilot for quite a few years and now you're working with L&D professionals and their teams and their businesses. Why are you so passionate about what you do? Because people ring me up or send me emails and, and say that debrief, that false execution stuff, the things that you, you talk to me about, I still use today. I will have a social meeting or run into somebody that did an afterburner program 15 years ago. And they'll go, oh, afterburner, oh, you guys do the red team and the debrief, don't you? I've done that ever since that. And I've run a lot of business. Well, I haven't run a lot. I've, I've founded four successful businesses, right? All, all multi-million dollar businesses. You know, it's just a formula like anything. But what I realized is with afterburner, it's always a five-star review in, in any other business. I've been involved in, you're just constantly, constant problems, constantly things going wrong, 
people kind of up and down in terms of whether they really engage with your product or not. I've built hotels, I've owned a humanitarian projects business that built schools and clinics and rehabilitate and rebuild Afghanistan. So all these different businesses were, you know, quite a quite a positive negative experience. Whereas Afterburn is a full positive experience. And it's my job now. I mean, I've, I've lived my life and I've achieved every goal I ever wanted. The first goal I had was at the age of five to be a fighter pilot and financial independence goal, fighter pilot goal, multimillionaire goal, good dad goal. Well, I'm, I'm on my way. You never quite get there. The partner I always wanted, my wife goal. You know, so my job now is to help people with their journey. That's what I'm here for. And Afterburn is just a wonderful platform to do that. Beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. And that passion is shared amongst L&D professionals, as I know. We know absolutely. So, Boo, thank you so much for joining us in the studio today. We are so excited to have you join us in the evolution as well. I know our members are really excited to meet you. And if you are a forum member or an L&D professional and you're like, what is this? How can I get involved? Just reach out to me on one of the links around this video and we will help hook you up so that you can benefit from the gold that is Christian Bukusis. <laughs> Just call me Boo. Yes, Colin Boo, exactly. Thank you, Boo. We will see you in the metaverse. Thanks, Lindsay.